All right, I'm going to draw a circuit. We're going to draw a circuit using Circuit Maker. We're going to draw a circuit using Circuit Maker. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, let's go over to where it says Sources on the left-hand side of the screen in Circuit Maker. And we'll go to Sources, Linear, and Battery. I click on Battery. I click on Place and the battery shows up as my mouse. I click and it goes right there. Oh, that was pretty cool. Close up linear, um, close up sources, and now I want to get uh, two resistors. So I go over to where it says resistor, right here, and then where it says resistors, and then resistor again. Place and my mouse becomes a resistor, and I click where I want it to go, and bada-bing, it goes there. Now, I go back, click on resistor, click on place. I go over to the right-hand side, but I got a problem. I want it to be, I want it shifted by 90 degrees. So I right-click, and it shifts automatically by 90 degrees. And I click, and bada-bing, bada-bang, it goes in. Wow. Now i got to connect them up. So I go over to the plus sign here. That's the connect them up button. And I click once. And I go over to this component. Oh, you know what? I, I It needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and make it a tad bigger so you can see it. Oh, that was a bit too big. Right there. Whoa. Where, <laughs> whoa. That was gone. Where'd he go? Where'd it go? Come back. Come back. Where'd you go? <laughs> he disappeared. Whoa. Let's make the, uh, let's make it smaller. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I finally got back. Lost. He got so big, he disappeared. Okay. Now I think we can see everything. Tad over. Uh, just a tad more. Uh, I better make it one smaller. Okay, good. Okay, we're we're pretty good, I I think. Okay, now what I want to do is connect up this circuit. How do I do that? I go to the plus sign, and I go right over. Ah, oh, you see the little red box pops up at the beginning of that resistor. I click and I drag over to the other, to the beginning of this voltage source, the battery, and a red box pops up. I let go, and maybe it gets it. Sometimes it doesn't. So you have to try again then. So there's the red box at the end of the R1 uh, resistor. I click, I drag to the beginning of the R2 resistor, I let go, and it worked. I go to the end of the R2 resistor, there's the red box. I click, and I drag to the red box on the end of the battery, and... It worked. Ah, lucky me, lucky me. So there's my resistor. There's my circuit. Pardon me. Oh, one more thing. I need a ground. So let's go back over here to uh, sources. Sources right there. And linear. And ground. And place. And I'll go pretty close to the circuit. There we go. And now i got to connect that up, click on the plus sign, and then right on the line, drag down to the other guy, and bada-bing, bada-bang, bada-boom, it's done. Drag them out. Line it up a little bit neater. There we go. There is our circuit. Now, I want to check the circuit. I want to see what the voltage drop across R1 and R2 is. <sighs> hmm, let's find out. Well... I go over here to where it says probe, and I click on the, the line. Oh, but it doesn't show up the oscilloscope at the bottom. Oh my goodness. I know why. Because I forgot to run the simulation. you got to run the simulation to see the oscilloscope on the bottom. Here we go. Simulator, or simulation, analysis setup, and then I go, I deselect, always set defaults for, for transient and op analyses. And I select transient Fourier. And then I have to click on this guy right here, run analyses. Click on him. And now I get my oscilloscope on the bottom. Whoa, pretty cool. Now, uh, I'm going to have to make the resistor a little bit smaller now. So let me do that. 
Mm. Okay. Okay. So I click on my on my uh, probe, click on this line, and then let's go see what the reading is for the voltage. It's 10 volts. Wow. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's 10 volts here. But then it's going to hit my resistor. It's going to drop some voltage across it. How much voltage will be dropped across the 1K resistor when the battery is 10 volts? Well, I'll click after the resistor. We'll find out. And then I rush back down to the green line that matches this green line. Oh, 5 volts. It's The voltage source is now 5 volts. That means it dropped 5 volts across this resistor 1. Well, the the current keeps going on and then it hits resistor 2. After it exits resistor 2, I want to know how much voltage was dropped across resistor 2. So I click after resistor 2 and come down here. Ah, 0 volts. So it was 10 volts, lost 5, hit resistor 2, lost another 5, and now it's 0. 10 volts minus 5 volts is 5. 5 minus 5 volts is 0. And you can see here the reading on the oscilloscope is now 0 volts at this point. Wow. One more time. Here, it's 10 volts. After resistor 1, it's 5 volts. After resistor 2, it's 0 volts. It lost 5 volts every time it hit one of these resistors. 5 volts now zero volts. Huh. And those are called voltage drops. It dropped five volts here and five, five volts across resistor two. Five plus five is ten and that is the total amount of your voltage source. Ten volts. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. So long from Gary D. 777.